Crop art is one of the things that you'll find only at the Minnesota State Fair. And this year, the official State Fair commemorative art is made entirely out of seeds by crop artist Liv Schreiber. Liz Schreiber, rather. The piece features 29 different types of seeds. It's on display in the Fine Arts Center during the fair. That's a lot of seeds. It's beautiful. Just, it's beautiful work. Did I saw that in person today. I didn't realize that was the commemorative piece. It's so good. Now, the crop art competition has been a fair tradition since 1965, and this year there are more than 20 different classes to compete in. That includes the junior division. Our photojournalist Greg, Kegel, Greg Kellogg caught up with the teen who has taken home that blue ribbon the past two years. Take a look. This is Rod Lentil. I do seed art. It's an art form where you take seeds and other natural materials like onion skins or like poppy seeds and you glue them onto a canvas or a block of wood to make a picture. Actually, my mom told me about it. She, she heard about it somewhere and told me to do it and I was like, what, how old? Oh, um, that's a good question. I think six or seven. Probably it's when she yeah. started. For the past few years, I've gotten first place in the junior division. We jokingly call her back-to-back -back champion. Yeah. <laughs> World champion, because there's no other crop art. Yeah, we're really fortunate so. in Minnesota that that's a thing. What's Claire like? <laughs> She's fun, exciting, very smart, intelligent, um, just a wonderful human being, just always caring and positive. Thanks. Describe Turner syndrome. It's a chromosomal disorder, so she is missing one sex chromosome. And so there's, much like any syndrome, there is a wide range of, of conditions that she could suffer from, whether it be heart condition or um, short stature. Yeah. Um, also learning disabilities, ADHD, uh, kidney issue. I mean, there's just a long list of, yeah. of ailments, but um, I've been pretty lucky. Yeah, yeah. One of the nice things about seed art is, is just how wide the variety of things that you'll see. I've wanted to do, like, my cat for a while, but it's kind of harder. It is harder doing um, animals and people. For reference, my first seed art was this beauty over here. So you can see how far I've come. As a parent, it's definitely very relaxing to watch this being done. Like, so soothing. This is wild rice. And then his eyes are white quinoa and poppy seed. When we moved here and saw what the state fair really is, is it's impressive. It, Everyone has some sort of talent, some sort of, you know, skill, and you can put it on display for the whole state to see. It, it really is a unique opportunity that um, makes Minnesota so, so special. And I mean, who would think that seed art would be, you know, her, her glory skill, I mean. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. So this year, Claire took home second place in her division. You can check out all of those entries in the crop art competition by visiting the Agport building at the fair. Of course, well done.